Hello dear learners, welcome in this session for Gravimetric Titration Part 2. In this video, we will see the assay of barium sulfate by gravimetric analysis. So, in this video, we will see the reaction for barium sulfate, the procedure, how to perform the assay and the calculations, how we can calculate the weight of precipitate. So, for estimation of barium sulfate, how we can estimate? So, first this is the basic principle when it's a gravimetry. So, when dilute sulfuric acid is added to a dilute solution of barium chloride, it's a very famous reaction. When we are adding H2SO4 to the barium chloride, we will get a BaSO4. We will get a BaSO4 and the HCl will be released. So a wide precipitate, here we are getting a wide precipitate as an endpoint of a barium sulfate. So this is our reaction. We will get a wide precipitate of barium sulfate. Now, now we will see the procedure for assay of barium sulfate. So we have to take 25 ml of barium chloride. In that we have to add 0.5 ml of concentrated H2SO4 and 100 ml of distilled water. Now we have to heat the solution. Okay, after that we have to add again H2SO4 solution to produce a precipitate. So allow precipitate to settle down. It will produce precipitate. After that we have to wait till we will get precipitate. After getting precipitate we have to filter the precipitate. Now we have to wash the precipitate by hot water and we have to dry the precipitate to remove this water. So for drying what we have to do we have to transfer after drying. Now after drying we have to transfer the precipitate in crucible and we have, we have to cool the crucible means we have to cool the precipitate. After that we will add one drop of HCl and H2SO4 to purify our precipitate we have to add one drop of HCl and H2SO4 now place the crucible in a desiccator to cool okay after that we have to place our crucible into the desiccator okay so our hygroscopic substance will remove so our substance will be only non-hygroscopic after that, we have to weigh the precipitate and repeat the process till constant weight is obtained. As I have discussed in the last lecture, there should be a difference of first precipitate, a weight of first precipitate and second precipitate will be only 0.3 mg or below 0.3 mg. So till that, we have to repeat this process. So this is how we can perform the assay of barium sulfate. Now, after weighing our precipitate, we have to do calculation. So, how we can calculate the amount of precipitates of barium? So, let me consider the weight of barium sulfate precipitate be x gram. If our weight is x gram, for example, any of the gram, for example, if we are getting any of the gram, like if we are getting 2 gram or if we are getting 1.5 gram of our weight then we have to write that means this will be our x our x is equal to the weight of our precipitate so the molecular formula of BSO4 is 233.42 so it's equivalent to barium so it is a 137.36 now how we can calculate? So we have to use this formula. 33.42 gram of BSO4 it will contain. It contains 137.36 gram of barium ions. Now what we have to find our precipitate. Okay. How much barium ion is there? So X gram of BSO4 contain how much? So like this we will get the gram of barium present in the precipitate. 
so we have to calculate it by this method so this will be our calculation so we should get our precipitate in specific amount by gravimetric analysis thank you dear learners for watching the video